Good morning, everyone, and, and welcome back to, to Recklink Connect. Um, as you can see, we're up to our fourth program of the day, Pilates with Elaine. Um, it's great to see some people coming into the room, familiar faces is always great. Um, but as you can see, if you can hang around for, for one or more sessions throughout the afternoon, we still do have plenty on the schedule and a nice wide range of, of programs as well. Before we begin, I'd like to do an acknowledgement of country. We would like to acknowledge the First Nations people as the original inhabitants of this country. We recognise, respect and celebrate the cultural distinctions and traditions of Indigenous people and value their rich and positive contribution to society. We pay respects to the traditional owners and custodians of the land we work on and acknowledge all elders and warriors past, present and emerging. So once again, good morning, everyone. I do hope that you're having a good day so far. Um, but for now, over to you, Elaine. Just realised I was muted. Can you hear me now? <laughs> we got you. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't talking to myself for the last hour. Uh, <laughs> welcome, everyone. It's a uh, wet and cold in Melbourne at the moment. Ooh. So hopefully, where you guys, it's a lot better. Um, thank you for joining me. If you can, please put your cameras on so I can see your beautiful faces. Okay, don't be too shy. Promise I won't tease you too much. Otherwise, you know, if you don't put your cameras on, I'll have to tease Sam and Brendan <laughs> even more. All right, let's get up, guys. Whew. Let's get up. Someone's coming in. Oh, oh that's in. Thanks for that. All right. Oh, warm me up. Be cold. <laughs> let's let's start moving with the legs. So let's go from. Um, let's get moving with the feet. So from the balls of your feet to your heels. Let's do this little move on. We do this move on the reform actually, and it's called running, <laughs> funny enough. So you go a bit slower, it's not running. Then you go a little bit faster, but nice and slow to begin with and push down with your heels, like you're squishing a very juicy orange, grapefruit, lemon, what have you. You know, what do we do with lemon? We make lemonade. <laughs> All right, squeeze it down. Really elongate your body up nice and tall. Pull that belly button into your spine. Reach your fingertips down. Shoulders relax. Nice long neck. And we go a little bit faster. And that's why we were caught running because you go a little bit faster. <sighs> I might start the warm up just with a bit of a few standing exercises to begin with. Um, I'm just going to face forward. So hopefully you can see my, my feet. I'm going to make um, a V with my feet. So have your heels together and your toes apart, all right? And what I'd like you to do, basically, if you can, I want you to go onto the balls of your feet. Doesn't matter if your heels are a, bit, a little bit separated, if you can keep them together, even better, I can't. <laughs> and then come down, all right? Let's go onto the balls of the feet. You can split or lift the heels off. Doesn't matter as long as you're on the balls of your feet and come down. When you come down, the heels go together. Now lift it up. Try and get the balance there. Hands on your hips onto a T, whichever that keeps you balanced. And what I want you to do, keeping the heels together this time, I want you to kind of bend down. That's it. And push up, keeping the heels together. You don't have to straighten the legs the whole way if you don't, if you can't. All right. So from the side view, bend it down, keep the body straight. Try not to lean forward. Neither are we doing the limbo. Okay. <laughs> not this fast. Not ready for the limbo yet. Haven't warmed up. Whew. Nice and slow, up and down. And you can see and you can probably feel it. The slower you go, you can feel everything. And that's what I want you to feel. Nice and slow. For those of you who've done belly, probably this is a lot easier. I didn't, but <laughs> just stretching it. Ah. Good. Go on the balls of your feet again. Stand up nice and tall. I'm cutting my head off, but that's okay. Don't have to see my head for this one. And come down, shaking the legs. Whew. All right. Let's do a little bit more legs, shall we? Let's go as wide as we can with the feet, pointing the toes out. Okay. If you want to go side on, that's fine. And then we're going to go and squat. Again, we're not squatting forward with the bum out. Now, neither are we doing the limbo. We're going straight down like an elevator or lift. Straight down. Come down as low as you can. Sit on that imaginary chair. Pull that belly button in tight. We're going to do little pulses. Again, try not to lean forward. Straighten that back. Up and down. Oh, I got my legs a bit yesterday. Maybe we shouldn't do too much legs today. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> All right, let's go. 
breath, squat, breathe. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And then stay as low as you can. And I'm going forwards as well, I'm a bit tired. Lift the heels off, drop the heels down. Lift the heels off. Try when you lift the heels off, you're not going up and down, okay? So stay low. Oof, might go a little bit narrow. Heels off and down. Heels off, stay in that one position, no more pulsing. Standing still, staying still. Oh, hello, little spider boy. Spidey boy, you gonna join us? <laughs> no, maybe not today. He's off saving the world. Oh, come back up. Bring your toes, heels, toes, heel in and give it a good shake. Oh, hopefully your legs like mine are all warmed up, ready to go. All right, we're gonna continue what we did yesterday. So instead of the traditional roll down and everything else, I'm gonna just swap it up a bit, all right? So we're gonna roll down, standing hip width apart, peeling your vertebrae off one, peeling your spine off rather, one vertebrae at a time. And then we're gonna walk forward. Walk, 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 walk until you come to a nice plank. Hold it there and then come back. Rewind, come back and restack the spine. We're gonna do that four times, okay? So that's one. If you haven't started, that's okay. Do four, rolling down, peeling that spine off one vertebrae at a time, leaning forwards in a walk, 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 walk. Trying to keep the legs as straight as you can and then go into a nice strong plank. Bring it back, pushing the heels down, leaning forwards, restacking the spine. This is number two. Woo. Let's go again. Exhale through the mouth, like you're breathing out through a straw. Walking out, that's it, nice and strong. Whew. And we stack, that's number three for me. Last one, number four. Don't worry, if you're a little bit behind, you can catch up or you can stop where you are. Doesn't really matter, Seeing, depending on how you feel. And if it's too much, feel free to have a rest when you need to. Have a stretch when you need to. And for, for the whole class, I would still like you to breathe. <laughs> so don't hold your breath. Very common when you're learning a new move, you're holding your breath. So breathe into your nose, out through your mouth. Pull that belly button in. If you forget the Pilates way of breathing, just breathe normally. Don't hold your breath. All right. We're going to go back to our roll down. So all the way down. We're not going to walk out this time. We're going to hang. Fingertips and then palms as low as you can. Bend at the knees, to get it lower a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, two, three, four, like you're gonna do a squat or you could squat if you can. Exhale, straighten while folding in half. Inhale, bend, two, three, four. Let the head hang heavy. Exhale, straighten. At least four to five pairs. Try and get the legs, well, the legs should actually be warmed up now, but if it isn't, warm it up right now. Try to get it all warm so they get to limber up a little bit more. And hopefully you'll feel a difference to when you started that you can straighten your legs a little bit more. You can get a little bit more your fingers down to the ground, maybe even your palms almost all the way, maybe three quarters of the way, a half way, just a slight difference. Hopefully you can feel that, never give up, keep doing it. I know I can feel a difference now because I can pretty much leave my palms down, almost. A lot better when I started, that's for sure. And then folding in half still, straightening your legs as much as you can. Leaning forward over the toes, over the balls of your foot, over the front half of the feet rather than on the heels, grabbing your elbows on either side and then swinging or swaying from side to side with a little bend in that opposite knee. So the more you swing and sway, the more you bend that knee. I want you to feel like you're just this rag doll just hanging from the waist to the forehead or to the crown of the head. You're just this limp little rag doll and you're just going whee. Letting gravity pull you down, releasing all the stress in your lower back, upper back, shoulders, 
neck. Just let everything hang down, making sure you're at the front half of your feet in the weight in terms of weight and not the back half of the feet, not in the heels. Recenter yourself, try not to get too dizzy. Release your elbows slowly. Lean forward a little bit more, see if you can stretch a little bit more, see if you can kiss your knees or your shins or your thighs a little bit more, wherever you can. And then with the next inhale, you're gonna restack your spine. So inhale through the nose, exhale, pull that belly button into your spine, restack like you're building blocks, one block on top of the other, all the way up to standing position. And then we're gonna shrug the shoulders in one direction. Let's go six to 10. Nice round and round it goes. And then reverse the other way. You know, all the way up to the ear loops and back down. All right, we're now gonna do our roll downs. We're gonna walk out. We're gonna go on to our fours and do five pairs of cat and cow. Okay, so rolling down, walking out three or four steps or so five, going onto your knees and your, um, your palms. Uncurl your toes. Let me adjust my screen. I wish I had an automated thing where I can just press the button and my screen just moves. That'd be fancy, wouldn't it? Oh, well, one can only dream. <laughs> Got a simple setup at the moment. Uncurl your toes. Knees are hip width apart underneath the hips. Hands are shoulder width apart underneath the shoulders. Let's go round the back. Tuck the tailbone in. Round the back, reaching the top or your shoulders pass, reaching up towards the ceiling, curl your head in. That's your cat, your angry cat. Imagine going hiss and arch the other way as much as you can while pulling your belly button in into cow. Imagine going moo. And we're doing it nice and slow. So we articulate the spine one vertebra at a time. Make sure you breathe for this. You can inhale for one move. Exhale for another, or if your breaths aren't that deep and long, you can always breathe. Inhale and exhale for one move, and then inhale and exhale for another. Use your breath. Try and get familiar with it because um, your breaths are your rhythm to what you're doing in the exercise. Keep that breath. Use your breath as the rhythm to follow, to move in your exercise. In any exercise, actually, you should try and use your breath. Never hold it. Never, ever hold your breath. Let's go five pairs at least or more if you rather. Bring the toes together, big toes together. Knees can be wide or narrow, pushing back down, hips down towards the heels, fingertips forwards and stretching into your child's pose. You can also go into a resting child's pose where your fingertips are towards your toes. Knees can be narrow. So at any point, this is your rest pose or your stretch pose. At any point when you feel a little bit tired, lethargic, or you just need to stretch, feel free to go into um, this stretch. Or if you have a particular favorite stretch, go for it. All right. We're going to go back onto our fours. Let's go. Right arm, left leg into bird dog. Let's go tap down, lift. This time we're going to alternate straight away. If you are ready for it, tap down, left arm right leg, stretch long, fingertips and toes pulling apart, pulling that body in half, tap down, <sighs> lift, bring it back in. Now, I'm gonna show you from the front view what not to do. So if you've just started this, and this is what you're doing, please don't <laughs> continue and just focus on doing one side at a time. So this is a bad one, okay? I'm exaggerating, of course. So you're gonna do this and see my hips, they're moving. Don't do the hula. <laughs> Keep the hips still. The only thing moving, see so your knees are still hip width apart. Only thing moving is that arm and that leg. Everything else stays still. It's all about stability. So you want to be able to lift one and then transfer that weight very smoothly. That's the aim here. And if, imagine if you're wearing shoes, because you shouldn't be, be wearing shoes in Pilates, where your shoelaces should be or ought to be, Make sure you push that down into the ground. Bring it in. Let's do your magic numbers worth. It might be six reps. It might be eight. It might be 10. Just don't do over 20. <laughs> 
And if you're just focusing on getting the stability right, that's okay. Just make sure you balance it up. Keep stretching the toes and the fingertips long. Pull that belly button in at all times without holding the breath, zipping up your one and two. You need to stretch your glutes or go back into child's pose. Please go ahead, have a stretch. And then I'm gonna get you to change it up. So for those of you, again, um, keep stretching while I talk to you um, about this. So with um, that bird dog before I alternated. So if you're working on your stability, keep alternating. Right arm, left leg, right leg, left arm, all right, without doing the hula. If you're just beginning and you are just getting the use, getting the hang of it, stay on the one side and just focus on stability on one side first, six to 10 and then swap, all right? So you should be able to know your limitations and what your body is capable of doing. So step-by-step, step, baby steps, okay? So don't worry, I'll always give you variations. So now we're gonna come down to the elbow, one side. I'm gonna go on my left elbow, left knee, that's down, okay? Elbow directly underneath the shoulders. The other hand, right hand is straight. Leg, right leg is on an angle, 45 degree angle, so from the front view. It's not straight behind, so a 45 degree angle at the side where the two walls meet. And you're gonna point the toes, making sure your belly button is in, you're not arching the back. So I'm gonna do a prop one first. You're gonna go tap down on that 45 degree angle and lift up. Now, don't do this, this is bad. So bad example, don't do it. Don't drop down and arch the back and lift. So I don't want that top half to move. I don't want you to arch your back. Again, your back doesn't move, only that leg. So I want you to push that weight down and lift the heavy weight up. Push as though you're pushing this inflatable doll, push it with all your might and lift it up and support your core, support your lower back. You can make this as easy or as difficult as you like and keep stretching the leg away from you. Now, also, because you're leaning on your side, I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail today. Some days I do, some days I don't, because I don't wanna bore you. So if you're on your side and you're doing this, please, even though you're on your side, you are still supporting yourself on this side. Don't let that hip stick out to the side. So don't do this where the hip is out like that. Now, hip has to be straight. So if you're looking straight on, it's in line with your shoulder. Imagine you've got an imaginary wall there, okay? So if I'm going on this side, don't forget swap sides. Make sure that is supported. It doesn't go down, okay? Make sure that imaginary wall is there. That supporting leg glute is working as well. Both glutes are working, both sides are working. It's all about control with Pilates, nice and slow. For those of you who heard, I'll tell you again. <laughs> Another word for Pilates is controlology, the form of control. All right, so that's why we don't do things very fast. If we do, that's called cardio Pilates, different class. We've got nice and easy for that, okay. I'm gonna go back on the first side. Make sure you've done both sides with your pushing down, toes long, pointed and pushing up. Next one. Now you can move your top half, okay. Bring the knee in, bring it towards your forehead, curl your forehead in, round the back, kick it out, all right. Now we're used to pointing, so if you're quite happy to point or you're getting a cramp, this is your option. Bring it in, kick it with your heel instead. All right, so flex the foot like you're pushing that wall with your foot, okay? Bring it in, flex the foot and kick with your heel. Bring it in around the back, kick it up, bring it in. This is the one time when I want you to move your body, your top half as you're rounding. Knee to the forehead, Kick it out. And again, make sure when you're leaning on the side, the hip doesn't go out to the side. Keep it stable. Six to 10 of these. Whatever your magic numbers were, bring it in, inhale, exhale, and make noise. So normally I would make noise a lot more, but because I'm talking, <laughs> I can't talk and exhale at the same time. So you hear me do it off and on. I'm gonna go to the other side just to balance it out. Bring it in, inhale, exhale. Bring it in, round that back. And really coil it in and shoot it out. 
all right? Make sure you get some energy in it. Make sure your legs are activated. Your arms are all steady. Whew, I think I've gotten warm now. <laughs> Don't feel so cold anymore. All righty, have a quick stretch. And then we're gonna go straight into side work because I miss side work. And we're gonna get you to do more, more stuff. More good stuff. Have a drink of water if you need to. I'm gonna go onto my left side. So onto my elbow, this time elbow directly underneath the shoulders and in line with my hip, okay? In line with the back of the mat. Bottom leg is bent. Make sure you have some space. Lift that lower waist. So if you were to draw a picture underneath you, that line on the ground, you should be able to draw like a right and a triangle, nice triangle, lift it up. So what I don't want you to do with this lower waist, one facing the ground, don't drop it like that and lean onto the shoulder and push that shoulder down, lift. So your neck is always long, stretching out from your core, all right? Always leave, pull that belly button in, engage it and lift it. If you want, fingertips can be pointing up to the ceiling so that will remind you to lift that body up. Or if you need balance, if you need balance, if you're starting out, you can feel free to hold in front of your belly with the hands in front, okay? Either or fingertips in front or even on your hip. Lift that top leg, the bottom leg is bent. Lift that top leg. I want you to do a little circle, well, actually not little circles, I'll take that back, big circles. I want you to kick forwards and do big circles around, come back. Kick forward, point, circle up and around. Kick forwards, or if you're more flexible, you can kick your face <laughs> and circle up and around, down. Kick up and around, down. <sighs> kick up and around, down. And with circles or rotations, of course, once you've done six to 10, whatever your magic numbers were, we're gonna reverse the circle. When you reverse the circle, that leg starts in front. So your three o'clock or your nine o'clock, depending on your side. Kick down to your six o'clock, reverse that circle. Kick down, keep lifting that lower waist. And for example, if you do find um, it hard to get that range of movement while you are on your elbow, um, uh, you can please come down, especially if you're beginning, okay? If you've been doing class with me for a while, I'd like you to stay on your elbow and try and lift. It's a little bit harder, but I'd like you to work on that. If not, if you're just beginning, feel free to lie down with the arms extended or just slightly supporting the head, and then you can balance a little bit more and you can get a bigger range of movement, okay? And don't forget to reverse that circle. But if you've been doing class with me for a while, give it a go on your elbow. Never say never, okay? <sighs> Reverse, make sure you've done it. You've probably done 200 already. Stretch your glutes out if you need to. All right, we're gonna stay on our elbow this time. We're gonna go back to an oldie but a goodie. We're gonna do opening close clamps. Fold the knees in or fold the legs in, knees forward. Knees on top of the other, hips stacked on top of the other. You're not rolling forward, neither are you rolling back. Feet on top of the other one, all in line. Heels in line with your bum in line with the back of your shoulders, elbow in line with the back of your mat, all right? Hands can be in front for more balance. So beginners always start here, move on from here, move on to here, but keep lifting that lower waist, all right? Keep the heels glued. You're gonna open and close clamps. Looks really simple and it usually is, but you can make this as difficult or as easy as you want. So it's not just as easy as opening and closing. I want you to feel like there's an invisible weight on top of your thigh and you're lifting that weight off. And then imagine that resistance, that's like a, um, a spring in the middle, a, a nice squishy ball. You wanna squish it with all your might. So you're gonna push the energy out through your knees, push the energy away from your waist. Lift and close. Open and close, keeping the feet together, lifting the lower waist, pull that belly button in, zipping up your one and two. If you're at the public restrooms and all the cubicles are full, you gotta engage those muscles, your pelvic floor muscles, so you don't soil your pants. Number one's your pee, number two, you get what I mean. <laughs> inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale. Look up to the ceiling if you like, or look straight but try not to roll forwards, neither rolling backwards. Open and close with intent. 
focus with energy as easy or as difficult as you want to make this to be. Please don't go yada 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 and just open. <laughs> like that doesn't work. <laughs> All right. Next step. I'll let you lie down if you rather, because it's a lot easier for those of you who want to go for it, don't, don't mind. You're going to repeat the same opening close plans, but you're going to lift the heels up this time, the feet up. Same, same movement, but the feet are up at all times. Now, if you're on your side, arms are straight out. I'm going to move down a little bit more. Or if you find that your head is too, like it's cocking down to, to, to one side and it's too much for your neck, fold your arm and just rest your head on your forearm, okay? But never, 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 ever do this. Rest your head into the palm of your hand, especially if you're just starting Pilates, because when you, the moment you do this, you forget that, and that just relaxes and you're not activating your core. When you do this, I want you to lift that low waist because I want you to make a pass. So make sure you've got a gap underneath that low waist the entire time, because that means you're engaging your core and what I call the queen lady bug gets to be able to crawl in and under any point, all right? So have your feet, uh, fingers in front on your waist or up high, lift the heels up and you're gonna open and close clamps like before, but with the heels or the feet up in the air, push your feet together, open and close. Six to 10 of these, and I'm gonna build. For those of you who've done this for a million times, and you know, you could do this with your eyes closed, add this, open, Kick and extend the leg long, bring it back, close it. So give it a go if you haven't. If you've just started, do it step by step. I know you're excited, but give it a go. Maybe every second one you can try. Kick it out, bring it in, close it, open. Again, make sure when you're opening, you're not opening to the point that you're rolling backwards. Neither when you're closing, you're, you're moving your hips forwards, all right? Your hips are actually exactly stacked on top of the other, like that's a stake going through your hips and you can't move. Open, keep the knee there, extend that leg long, keep the knee there, don't move, bring it back and then close it. Open, bring it in, close, use your breath, that's the rhythm, inhale, exhale, inhale, back, exhale, close, inhale, exhale, bring it back, close. Now, you've probably done about six to 10, if you're working on your form, don't worry about the number you've done. I want you to focus on that form. Keep checking underneath your lower waist, making sure that's lifted. I'm gonna build again, all right? So whatever step you did before, if you're just beginning, try and do the extension of the legs. For those of you who've done the extension of the legs, keep building. I want you to extend that leg long. The bottom leg is still lifted. Keep that in the air. And guess what? We're gonna do circles. I know it's your favorite. <laughs> circles with that bottom leg lifted. Circle one, hold, circle two, hold. For those of you beginning or just starting out, you can do continuous circles, that is fine. But I want you to keep doing your circles. Circle one, hold, circle two, hold. Keep going, six to 10, and then reverse the circles. Circle the other way. <sighs> Try not to drop the legs. <sighs> Go. Oh, once you're done, bring it down. Massage your glutes if you need to. Ooh. All right, if you can, we're gonna straighten the legs out forwards in an angle in a J shape towards the front half of the front corner of the mat. Hands can be in front for more balance. You're gonna lift the legs and then we're gonna do scissors. All right, scissors on the side. So point kick forwards and back, that's one. Forwards and backs, two. Lift that lower waist, make sure there's that gap underneath. Hold that belly button in. Six to 10 pairs, all right, don't forget. After you've done this, then you can relax. <laughs> Shall I lie? Relax by leaving your feet in the air. If you can, stay there. Feet are still in the air, all right, hovering off the ground. Top leg lifts, comes down. Let's point, flex it down. Point, lift, flex it down with the heel. Bottom leg is still hovering if you can. Lift and flex down. Whew. Lift, flex down. Keep making sure that lower waist is lifted. Kick, flex down. Kick, flex down. I promise this is the last one. All right, so finish it off. Six to 10 reps. 
and then all oh, drop it down, massage, stretch your glutes out into your pigeon pose, pretzel pose, whatever your favorite pose is, go for it. I'm going to do my standing pretzel. Oh, let's go. And then that's only one side. We're going to do the other side. Have a little water break if you need to. And for those of you who want me to check your form, feel free to just tilt your cameras down a little bit so I can actually see you, okay? I like to see your smiley faces or focused faces. It doesn't have to be smiling. That means I know you're working hard. Just don't want to see the walls <laughs> if I can. All right, on the elbows or lying down if you're beginning. We're gonna go, we're gonna kick and then we're gonna circle. All right, so kick forwards, circle. So if you find you don't have a range of movement in this and you're moving your top half too much, feel free to lie down and rest hands in front on your waist or up towards the ceiling. Kick, circle, up and around. Got a bigger range of movement this way. All right, pick and choose. I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna keep swapping. So for those of you who are watching and wondering, oh, hang on, why did she change positions? That's right, you can keep changing positions if you want. I'm just showing the different variations. Once you've done one way, bring it back to your three or nine o'clock, bring it down to six, reverse the circle. Remember, lower waist, lift. Don't drop that, don't sink your shoulders down or your earlobes to your shoulders, lift. So kick back, reverse the circle. That's so. All right, when you're done with that, let's go <laughs> open and close clams. Again, onto your elbow or lying straight down. Lift that lower waist, whether you're on your elbows or not. Open and close with intensity, with imaginary resistance, whatever you like to call it. Put your cat there, put your puppy there if you like. <laughs> Just don't put them in between your legs. You don't want to squash them too much. And put a pillow there if you like. And for those of you who want to build, um, we can also, oh, hang on, what am I doing? No, let's keep doing this one. We'll build later, I forgot. I'm gonna lie down for this one because I'm gonna lift the heels up. Next one's to build, open up, that's it. Lower down. If you wanna stay onto your elbows, you can. My, it's not my preference to do it, so I prefer to lie down. Keep lifting that lower waist. You know, what my preference is might not be yours. See how you feel, your workout. And if you want to build for this, this is where you build. So open up, kick, bring it back, close, open, kick, bring it back and close, open, kick, bring it back, close, open. Six to 10 of these, pick your numbers worth, don't roll forwards, lift that lower waist, open, bring it back, close, And then if you're done, keep the bottom leg lifted, extend that top leg, circles. Nice, tight, <laughs> concise circles. All right, this is where it's starting to hurt. Try and make the circles nice and small. It's a lot harder. Try to not do continuous. Try to go one circle, stop for half a second. One circle, stop. One circle, stop. All right, six to 10 in one direction. Once you're done, reverse. The slower you go, the smaller the circles. Ooh, it's gonna burn more. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Oh, I feel the burn, do you? I know I do. Ooh, definitely not feeling cold anymore. All right, I'm gonna drop the legs. Well, not really drop. Bring the legs to the front corner of the mat. And I'm gonna do scissors. So I'm gonna put my hands on my waist this time. And you're gonna scissor forward. Now, if you find you can't balance, feel free to have your hands in front of your belly, okay? Or up, either or. You can even make some things with your hands if you want. So kick forwards and back is one. Forward, backs two. Keep lifting that lower waist. And then when you're done, keep the legs there. Bottom leg is still hovering. Kick, point kick, flex down. 
point kick, flex back down. Oh, point kick, this is when it's gonna get tiring. Or you might feel a cramp coming on. That's okay, stretch the cramp if you need to. Point the bottom leg, point the toes at the bottom leg. Lift it, keep it hovering. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Up, flex down. Woo. I'm gonna do one more because I've lost count. <laughs> oh, come down, let's stretch it out. Oh dear goodness gracious. Woo. Let's go, stretch out that glute. Oh, I'm feeling it from yesterday. I did Geordie's session after my class yesterday. Oh, I'm feeling it. Brendan, I don't know how you're feeling it, but oh, any one of you who did the two classes in a row, oh, I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do my standing pretzel ah, to balance. And like I say, I know some of you are shy, but leave your screen on, you know? I promise I won't tease you too much. <laughs> let's go the other way have a drink of water if you need to all right and then when you're ready let's go i'm gonna sit down onto the mat here ready when you are all right let's sit actually i might have another drink of water ah, thirsty all that talking talking to myself like i'm going crazy <laughs> Let's bring one leg up, all right? Your shin is up parallel to the ground. Let's bring the other leg up as well. Now the knees and the feet, they're not together. They're about hip width apart, okay? Lift one, lift the other. Pull that belly button in tight. Hold or look mama no hands, either or. If you need to start holding, that's okay. And then later on, you can release it. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to extend it long with holding or without and then bring it back. Keep the shin parallel to the ground. And you can also go, look, mama, no hands. Straighten and bring it back. <sighs> Pull that belly button in towards your spine. And please, if you need to hold, hold on to it, okay? Hold on to your legs. You gotta start somewhere. And you gotta work to where you can and try not to drop the heels down. It's also very tiring. So it's quite normal that your heels will go down, 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 down. <laughs> That's okay. So if you're beginning and this is a bit too impossible, drop the legs down, drop the heels down a little bit and then you can just straighten like so. All right, if you're beginning or if this is like a new exercise for you and you're finding it a bit of a struggle, point your toes, pull that belly button in. But if you can try and keep the shins parallel to the ground. Go as low as you can manage while controlling and bring it in and out. Bring it in and out. I'm just going a little bit longer so you know the difference and the different variations you can do with this. Okay, I'm gonna bring my feet right down now. Oh, let's have a rest. How that feel? All right, I'm gonna stretch forwards. I'm gonna straighten my legs out hip width apart, bring the toes in. I'm gonna roll, not roll, I'm gonna reach forwards over the imaginary beach ball. So I'm not gonna go flat. I'm gonna try and roll over and stretch as far as you can. If you need to grab onto something, feel free to grab your ankles, your toes, whatnot, and stretch. Go as far as you can and then hold it. Exhale, three pulses. Hold and then come back. All right, so that's what I want you to do. So go as far as you can, and if you think that's it, -uh, you're gonna push yourself. You can go inhale, exhale, pulse three times and go forward, push. And then your last exhale, pulse, hold it further than you thought, then you start, and when you start it, and then curl back, all right? And here's another thing. It's very common when you do this, you're gonna bring your shoulders up there. So try, 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 try. Drop your shoulders down. So even when you're curling down, drop the shoulders down. Don't bring the shoulders up to the earlobes. Otherwise you're gonna be really tense around um, the shoulder neck area. Okay, let's go again. Inhale, exhale, go. Hold it and then pulse. And then uncurl back to your sitting position. And let's go again. I'm gonna do one more because with all that talking, I'm pretty sure you've done at least six. Inhale, exhale. 
hold it, pull the toes back, push out through your heels and curl back up to your sitting position. Very good. All right, I'm gonna push forwards, move forwards towards my mat a little bit, the front part of my mat. I'm gonna lift my heels and my knees, my heels off the ground, bring my knees into the chest. And I'm gonna do a few roll back and forth. Okay, rolling like a ball. So come with me, holding your shins. Let's roll, let's roll baby. <laughs> roll back, up and down, up and back. Pull that belly button in. <sighs> Try, if you're not using momentum in your legs, you're moving up to the next step, trying to keep the gap between your heels and your bum consistent. All right, so in the beginning, you might use your legs to swing to get the momentum to move. That is fine. As you get stronger and stronger and you get more confident in your practice, you're going to keep the heels closer and closer to your bum and don't use the legs to swing. You're using your abs. All right, back and forth. Whew. For those of you building up, I'm going to keep building. You're going to extend one leg long. You're going to rock back with one leg, come up with one leg, swap. Rock back with one leg, come out with one leg, swap again. All right, make sure it's a pair every time. Whew. I kick my beach houses in front. <laughs> up there. Let's go. Oh, that's getting tiring. Am I the only one getting tired? <laughs> Too easy for the rest of you. You ladies look like you're nailing it. I think I need to get tips from you. Uh, let's go. I'm going to finish off with one more side. <sighs> if you don't see a theme coming this week, it's all about rolling. It's all about rolling. It's a fun part. All right. I'm going to keep playing with rolls. So if you don't feel great um, with the rolls, keep it nice and easy. You don't have to rock too much. Or if you find rolling is not the thing for you at the moment, just lie on your back and just lift your tush or your bum up in the air okay if you don't find that rolling convenient but it's actually really nice once you get the hang of it so if you can try not to give up next stage so you've already done both legs up one leg at a time right and now we're going to go back to what we did before with the shin parallel to the ground legs are hip width apart okay they're not together a little bit wider than hip width maybe and we're going to roll like this, <laughs> roll back, come up, roll back, come up and straighten the spine to balance yourself as you come up. Roll back, C curve, C curve up, then straighten your spine. Keep the shins parallel to the ground. <laughs> That's it, I feel like a kid, go way. <laughs> Very nice. And for those of you, I can see some of you having fun. You can always roll back and extend the legs long if you can. Have a play with it because the more you play, guess what? I will introduce this. And it's not going to be a cup of, tea, a cup of tea for most people. But as you get stronger, you'll get more excited because you'll be able to do it. So keep rolling because eventually I want you to do that where you bring your legs and you roll back through your legs back up and come down and roll and come down. Don't have to straighten your legs completely. You can have your knees or your legs slightly bent. Have your hands down to the ground to push and lift the bum and lift your legs back, all right? So you can bring it in. You can hold in the back of your thighs if you want, or as you roll, use the hands here to push and hold back and come back. All right, so this is just trying to get that movement. And again, don't worry about the legs. If you go, can't do it with the legs, Elaine, that's okay. Remember what I told you with the bum? Lift the bum up. Just do this. Lift the bum up, even with bent legs. Just try not to knee yourself in the face. <laughs> I've done it before. I know, don't laugh. <laughs> don't knee yourself in the face. You will not be laughing, believe you me. You'll be crying. <laughs> so once you get that down, Try as much as you can to straighten the legs. All right, and you can bring it back with the knees bent. All right, so keep building. This is your homework, okay? We're gonna roll. So eventually, as you get stronger and stronger, this is what I eventually want you to do. Not today, probably, not tomorrow, not next week, but a couple months time. 
All right, be realistic, okay? Everyone's different. Some of you can do it now. Some of you just need a little bit of tweaking. Some of you might take a year. It's okay. Imagine when you show this to all your friends, they're like, oh, what was that? That feels good, right? <laughs> and you'll be proud of yourself. You can get your body moving. So what we want to do eventually, this is the full workout because you have to make it hard, obviously. <laughs> But no, this is the full workout. Like I said, you, we build to that. You're going to lift the legs up. You're going to bring it over. Okay. All right. I know. Don't, I know. Watch. Don't, 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 don't judge me. Open the legs wide. Flex the foot. All right. And you're going to crawl down one vertebrae at a time without lifting the head. Nice and controlled. I'm struggling here, as you can see. Bring the legs together. And then go again. All right. This is what we do. I know this is a repertoire and then we do it the other way. We go with the legs wide and then we bring it together and then we come down. I know you're looking at me, Pat, with a funny look. I know I get you, don't worry. <laughs> but this is eventually what I'd like you to get to, almost somewhere there, okay? You were laughing at me before when I was trying to get you roll over. I saw you, you did it. So please, this is what you're trying to achieve. You might not achieve it. You want to get as close to it as you can, okay, with your body, okay? All righty. That's what the lower, lower waist. Let's lie on our back. All right. Oh, take a load off. Lie on your back. Bring one knee into 90. Bring the other knee into 90. Straighten the legs up towards the ceiling. Legs up together. They are together as one. You can hold the back of your legs. You can have your hands to the ground. You can have your hands hovering. But if you can, I'd like you to curl your head and shoulders off the ground. Curl up so you're also working your upper abs. Make sure belly buttons down to your spine, down to the ground. It is contacting the base of your mat. You're going to inhale down as low as you can without arching your back. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Let's go four to six of these. Make sure you curl up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Now, once you've done four to six, you can hold your legs because they're fatigued like mine are. And let one leg drop. Try and make an L if you can. If your top leg is bent, that is fine. Bend it at the knee. But if you can, you're going to hold it like so. All right? Mama, no hands. Swap. Hold. Pull it in. Let go of the hands. Mama, no hands. Okay? <laughs> so with or without the hands. I want you to drop one leg and the other leg goes straight up. So drop one, the other one comes up. It's like a lever, all right? And you can also have no hands and you can stretch your fingertips past your bottom. Now, oh, that's all. <laughs> Bring your knees in. Now, if your legs can't go as low as parallel to the ground, that is fine. Your legs might just be here, okay? And that's fine. I just want to make sure you're still curling up and you're still gluing your belly button down to your spine. All right. Even if you can't go to an L, go to wherever you can. Bring the knees in. Let's rock from side to side. Whew. Not done yet. I'm going to get you work a bit more on the lower abs. All right. It's all that rolling around, having too much fun. Oh, who says we have fun in Pilates? Never. <laughs> It's not fun, I wouldn't be doing it. And I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be joining me day after day. And thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll be very lonely all by myself. Although Brandon might think I like talking to myself most of the time. I don't. All right. <laughs> We're going to bring the legs back up. So when you start, always bring one leg to 90, the other leg to 90, and then straight. And don't just bring your legs up, okay? We're doing it in steps. Now, what we're going to try and do, this is going to be a little bit harder, needs a little bit more control. See how you go. Stretch the fingertips out. And we're going to kind of do a little scissor kicks. Down, 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 down. As low as you can go. And then we're going to bring it back up, 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 up. Curling the head and shoulders up. And down, 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 down. down. So down and up. That's only one rep. Okay? <laughs> we're going to do four to six. Notice how I've dropped it to four because it's a lot harder. So don't worry, I've got a heart. Uh, let's go. Woo, this is hard. And you know what? If your neck's sore, you can always rest the hip back down. But I do recommend you keep lifting that hip because it's a lot easier on your back to lift the hip 
and the shoulders for the back half up. Oh, and then bring your knees in. Oh, I'm gone, I'm dead. <laughs> Try doing that while talking, it's hard. <laughs> All right, let's roll around side to side. And then rock back and forth for a few massages on your lower back. And then you're gonna rock up and sit up when you're ready, big swing up. <sighs> All right, once you're done, I'm so, I'm thirsty, I'm gonna have more water. I've run out of water in one. I've got another bottle. Always handy to have more than one. Ooh. All righty. Not done yet. <laughs> ah, now I'm regretting wearing this long sleeve. I'm too hot now. Ooh. All right. Up the fan goes. All right. Onto your hands and your knees. All right. Now, I want to try and do something a little bit different. So you're going to cross at your ankle, cross your feet at your ankle, you can. And you just move your knees a little bit further away, kind of like a plank, like when you're first doing a plank, right? And what I want you to do from here, it's like I'm um, on a plank, sorry, like um, your push-ups or people call it ladies push-up. Yeah, they shouldn't call it ladies push-up, beginners push-up. But what I want you to do, instead of your push-up where your elbow goes out to the side, I want your elbows to go into the back. So not out to the side, elbows go back. We're gonna work the triceps. All right, so come down, 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 down. Lift up, 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 up. Pull that belly button in tight. This is when it really helps. Zip up your one and two and pull that belly button to your spine. Push your knees a little bit further if you need to. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 nice and slow. Up, 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 up. All right, helps to make the noise too. <laughs> down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. La, 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 la. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. <laughs> One, two, down. Come all the way down to the mat. Extend your legs long. Now let's go into your stretch up. Fingertips towards your toes or hands hovering off the mat. Let's reach the top of the body, top half of the body up and away from the waist, or hands hovering, either or pulling the elbows back so the shoulders are pulling back and away from the earlobes. Push the legs into the ground, the legs are staying down, top half is moving. Once you're done, push back into a child's pose. Then we work the bottom half. Again, hands can be hovering, resting on the chin, or hands can be towards the toes, resting on the chin, Lift the legs up and down, or up and long rather. And you can also go up and long and clap the feet together, or up and long and do a little flutter kicks. Come down, go again. Lift, flutter kicks, up and down. Keep that belly button off the mat. Come down, do so a few times. Depending on the variation you do, you might be doing less reps, that is fine. Whatever suits you best and then stretch back down. And then we're gonna finish up with your top half and bottom half together. All right, so pick and choose. Hands can be underneath the shoulders. Fingertips can be towards the toes. Or if you feel like you need a little bit more support, especially with your head and your neck, have your hands underneath the forehead, one hand on top of the other, connected to the forehead. All right, so I'll do the forehead one for a change. Lift up and stretch long, come down. Lift up, stretch long, lift that belly button from the mat. If you want to add on to Superman, let's go. Lift, Superman, back under the head, down. That's one rep, all right? No cheating. And for those of you with the fingertips towards the toes, you can do this. Lift, and you can still add the claps. You can still add the kicks. That's fine. And for those of you with the hands underneath, you can do the same clap or kicks. And for those of you who want to do more than Superman, this is... This is the extra one, it's extra long, so you might need to reduce your reps. Lift, Superman, arms to a T, palms up towards your toes, lift the chest up a little bit more, palms down, T, back to Superman, back under the forehead and down. That is one rep. So you should be doing six to 10. All right, push back. Whew. Finish up your stretches. It's a good strong one. So keep going. 
I'm just going to have my gin and tonic right now while watching you. No, no, just kidding. Just having water. <laughs> oh. Finish up. Be proud of yourself. Oh, I'm sweating buckets. All right. Let's do some stretches now. <laughs> Hands. Left hand down when you're ready. Don't worry if you're not done. Take your time. If you want to cut it short, that's like it's your, your session. Okay, it's your session. You do what suits your body. Hand down, lift, hip thrust. Looking down, looking up, or slight back bend. And remember, you can always, as you lift up, you can either stretch to the side or back bend. They're both very different. So pick and choose, okay? We mill the arms back and around. Grab your knee, stretch to the other side. Make sure that is anchored down, hips are anchored down, and stretch. Go again. Three to four on one side before we swap. All right, lift, stretch, come back down. I hope I haven't sounded like Chewbacca today. No one said I sounded like Chewbacca yet. Yesterday, apparently Chewbacca was back. <laughs> that must be my split personality. Uh, but those of you wondering why, apparently my mic makes me sound like Chewbacca. Who knows, it's all a little bit of fun. As long as you're having fun and being entertained, that is all I can ask for. Having fun, laughing, getting the endorphins out, feeling happy, I've done my job. All right, guys, thank you for joining me again. Namaste. <laughs> thank you. Merci. Terima kasih. Cie Gracias. Uh, Grazie. So there you go. Thanks, guys. Hope you had fun. And please, hopefully you feel more confident and show yourself to me if I haven't seen your beautiful faces yet. And don't worry, you are all beautiful. You are all my Pilates babies and all my Pilates babies are beautiful. For sure, hands down, all right? All right, back to you, Sam.